Hi guys, welcome back to Karma Adventures. Adventures. We have heard so many negative things about Wiz Air and last month we flew with Wiz Air for the first time together. So in today's video we will share with you our experience in this low budget airline. Let's get into the video. Last year I was meant to fly to Tenerife with Wiz Air, however once I got to Gatwick airport they cancelled the flight on the spot so I said to myself I will never ever again fly with Wiz Air. However, we did. We did. <laughs> we planned the weekend trip to Faro in Portugal last month. And of course, for two days, a backpack each was enough. Was it though? <laughs> Honestly, it felt like Carl was going for a whole week. Max just gets so worked up about packing when we go on holiday. I do. I get very stressed. The thing is that I'm not sure if I'm the only one, but I always think that I'm going to get charged. And I already had to pay once £40 to make sure that I could take my backpack. So I didn't want to do that again. That's never happened to me. So you can see where the problem is. <laughs> well, to be honest, now that you say that, I did get a little bit nervous because as we were waiting to board the plane, loads of people started getting charged and we just got so scared. <laughs> it was getting to our turn. However, this is what happened. Yes, thank you. Let's go. Oh, we made it. I really, th oh, I really thought we were gonna pay like the backpacks are massive. So. <laughs> and now on to the price. How expensive was this flight? Or I guess you can say how cheap was this flight? <laughs> well, the reason why we chose Wizer wasn't only because it's cheap price. But it was also because the timing, it was the only airline that would leave us at Faro. It was the only airline that would leave us at Faro at around 12 p.m., whereas all the other ones would leave us later in the day. And because we only went for two days, we wanted to make the most of the trip. Well, thank you, Max, for all of that background story. But the price was actually £120 for two return flights from London Gatwick. Which is not bad. I think that's great, actually. <laughs> and Faro was such an amazing place. So if you haven't seen the videos of Faro, you need to go and watch them now. And since that flight, we subscribed to Wiz Air Newsletter, just in case they had any big price drops. But we actually received a very interesting email saying that they've released a Wiz Multipass. We don't really know exactly what it is, but apparently you can fly many times with Wiz Air for a fixed monthly price. So if anyone watching this video has tried this membership, please let us know in the comments if it's worth it and your thoughts on it. Or if you want to know more about it and you want us to test it out, then let us know in the comments and we can do a video about it. And now let's talk about the in-flight experience. So once we got into the plane, we were very surprised in the good way because all the seats looked brand new. And once I sat down, it felt like I had more leg room than usual. I mean, my knees didn't feel twisted, which is very surprising. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> She's only five foot. Five foot two. <laughs> and this is where we parted ways. <laughs> Bye. And this is because we decided we didn't want to pay an extra 10 pounds each just for seats. But luckily we actually sat pretty close to each other, so it wasn't that bad. Now we have this amazing tip for you. And I must admit, it was Carol's idea. So if you are sitting separately to the people that you're flying with and you don't want to stand up to talk to them, what you can do they speak through airdrop. I know, it sounds crazy, but it really works. Like we just airdrop each other pictures with text on it. And it was hilarious. <laughs> now, the brand new seats, they were so comfortable that I fell asleep before the takeoff. Me, on the other hand, I was wide awake. You lie. During the takeoff, it was actually really scary. The plane was shaky and I genuinely thought we were just gonna drop here and there. But in the video, it really doesn't look that bad. I don't know why. One eternity later. Something I really miss back in the day when you used to fly, you would just get like snacks for free. 
but now you have to pay for absolutely everything. So we have no reviews about the food because we didn't buy any. <laughs> well, at least for the landing, Max was awake, so he got to experience <laughs> what I felt throughout the flight. It was very scary. And you can actually see the reaction of people because I was recording the landing and it was really funny. <laughs> So overall, besides the scary landing and takeoff, flying with Wizz Air was actually really good. And also, the flights are very cheap and the timings tend to be very good as well. But as always, with any travel, just make sure you plan and account for any potential delays in your travel time. So please let us know in the comments your thoughts about Wizz Air. And if you have any questions about the company, also let us know in the comments. If you haven't seen the video that's appearing on the screen right now, you should go and watch it because we think, and also YouTube thinks, you will really like it. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, like and, and subscribe. subscribe.